Welcome back everyone, this is Ultralavos playing Maniac Mansion. Probably the last video in this game. Well, we mailed off the demo tape, I did that off screen. And now, I, I guess I can grab this jar of water. I think we've done everything we can do with the microwave. We've already seen this. Wait, there's one more thing we can do with- I know what you're thinking, if you know about this game at all. You've probably been wondering when I'm going to put the hamster in the microwave. You can only do this with Razor or Sid. Everyone else will say like, ooh, gross, or I'm not doing that. But Razor and Sid are sick fucks, so. They will explode the hamster. Totally awesome. There's really no use to this hamster. However, if you would like to, I'm, I'm not going to use it now because I'm going to be, uh, I'll show you later because I will want to kill Dave off to show you a variant of an ending. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to Dave, wherever he is. I'm going to find where he is off screen, give him this hamster for now. And I'll meet you back, probably when a cutscene triggers, with the demo tape that I mailed in of the green tentacles. And here's the cutscene with the producer dude getting the demo of the green tentacles tape. He seems to like it. But we'll definitely have to go give this to the uh, green tentacle. Well, once we uh, get it back in the mail, that is. I'll be back. Well, let's, uh, well, I need to get all this stuff opened. I'll be back. All right, now that we have Michael, well, I'll get that out here in a minute. I don't think Weirdo, Weird Ed's gonna mess with it. So let's, uh, actually, we need to give Michael the key card. Actually, I don't think it matters. Let's see what happens if I send Razor through here. I don't know if Weird Ed will come in or not, or if it has to be Michael. But anyway, you'll get to see the full uh, dialogue of this purple tentacle. Oh, nope, here he comes. Well, thank you, Weird Ed. I will. So that's uh, another way to get past the meteor. Now we better get our radiation suit. And hopefully I have the key card. Or card key. I thought I did it, but maybe not. Now we can go pick up the meteor. Oh yes. We have to break him free of his spell. So I guess you can turn off the self-destruct sequence. But since the meteor is here, he has full control of it and he won't be able to shut it off. See, when the meteor police took him away, he wasn't there to stop it, but apparently he's got control of the whole system. Alright, I will help you.
And we got two minutes to do something with this meteor. Well, look, we're right here. Let's, uh... Choose the yellow key in it. Wait a minute. I should have put the meteor in there. That would have been smart. I could have sent him to outer space. Because when you start the car... See it hiding back there? It shoots up like a rocket. What was I thinking? How am I ever going to get rid of it now? Well, I guess we'll go through this gate that just opened. Can I throw it in the pool? No, that doesn't seem very viable. And the power's off. Oh, man, this, this is going to be ridiculous. No, where are you going? Get back here. I'm on a time limit here. Oh, I forgot the power was off. That's so stupid. Come on, we're in the kitchen now. We're in the kitchen. I wish I had the flashlight at this point. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Uh, stairs, yep. It's a good thing I know this mansion like the back of my hand. Open the door here. We gotta go up the stairs. And we got a door over here. No, we got stairs. One minute. Now we're in the upper hall. We're gonna go all the way, all the way to the end. Hello, plant. I'm going to give the meteor to you. You look hungry. How about a nice, tasty morsel? How's that? Radioactively goodness? Full of purple, yummy chewiness? And then we get this little scene with Dr. Fred. I think uh, we already saw this, though, didn't we? Yeah. After the meteor police took him away. And then you win again. Yeah, you can feed a meteor to the plants and it digests it pretty quickly. So I will show you, uh, I'm going to kill Dave off. I'll show myself killing him off. Then I'll go ahead and send that meteor up in the car. I'll be back. So we came in here with uh, Weird Ed and since we befriended him, he's asking if we're getting ready for the big raid. Well, no, but I've got a gift to give to you. Look what I found. You don't want it? Okay, wait. Yeah, sorry. I, ju I just got this given to me. I didn't do it. I, I, I didn't do it, but he don't care. He's in a fit of rage. And now Dave is dead. But what's weird is if you die in this fashion... Well, I thought you could still, yeah, you can still move around. You can't pick anything up and you lose all the items that you had on you. But oddly enough, you can still move. Very weird. Very weird. Well, I will be back momentarily. And there's a contract in the mail, so let's get it. Let's get this contract. Let's even read this contract. Why not? Let's see what it says. for the green tentacle. Let's go give it to him. I'll be back when I get to his room. Hello there, Mr. Tentacle. I've got a contract for you. Now, if you were to send off your own tape, like I had said before, and you give him a contract for yourself, he will kill you. Like, he will get so jealous, he will kill you. And now, uh, this is Razor and or Sid's wet GT in the suction cups. Uh... Nice. But this is Razor or Sid's way of make, getting past the purple tentacle. So if you don't have Michael with you, you don't have Bernard, you know, for some reason you picked Dave and Useless Jeff. Now, I'm not sure which will happen uh, since I've already befriended Ed. 
and now I befriended the tentacle. I'm hoping the tentacle will happen so you all can witness that. So, we'll see. I'll be right back. Now you all are going to see uh, at the same time I am which, which one happens. Hopefully we'll get to see the green tentacle come in here and lay the smack down. But no promises, it may be weird out again. And in that case, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Nope, the tentacle came, sweet. Tentacle versus tentacle. Yeah, don't mess with his band members. Well, thank you. And that's that. Now, same old, same old, except we're going to get a little different of an ending. Need to get this suit on, don't want to die. Yeah, we know. I wish I could skip this cutscene, but I can't. Uh, the only thing I really didn't do, if you want to see it on your own, do it, is uh, send off your own recording and get the contract for the tentacle. And then if you want to fix the uh, power with Bernard, I think I may have showed you how to do that. You just use Bernard uh, with the tools when the lights are off. You can turn the lights off on your own too, at the fuse box by where the key was in the basement. And uh, Dr. Fred will come in there and play the meteor mess and then his top score will change the uh, code for the lab, but it's much easier than having to go back because it will change every time he plays it. It's much easier just to not fix the power. I don't know if it was intended that way or if it was just a goof, but... Okay, now we're going to use the trunk with this meteor. Let's lock you up in this trunk. And we're going to send you into outer space. Better stay in that trunk too. No shenanigans. I don't see how a meteor with no hands or feet could get out of that trunk anyways. It's not like he'd find some way to get out of there and then just be like joyously having a good time and the driver's... How the hell did you get there? I guess he's driving the car in outer space now having a good old time. And it's a little different now because Dave is dead. Oh no, I don't I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> but that's another story. Dr. Fred, don't be a tuna head. Well, this was Ultra Lavos playing Maniac Mansion. I hope you enjoyed it. This uh, was one of my favorite games playing growing up. I remember the first time I played it, I, oh, I enjoyed it a lot. There's a lot of places that troubled me, but it was really cool. Like, a buddy of mine was playing it, and uh, at the same time I was, and we would, like, talk to each other about, oh, have you tried this? Oh, you can do this, and... It was a good time. I definitely recommend playing this. Uh, Day of the Tentacle, which was a sequel to this, which wasn't released on, I don't think, any home consoles. I think it was just uh, PC games. It's pretty fun, too. I played through it uh, maybe like 10 years ago or so. Maybe even longer. But uh, it was fun, too. I enjoyed it. So, yeah, check this uh, game out if you haven't played it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next game.